Hi, boys and girls. So we're going to do a, another reading to dig deeper at the scientific method. So please follow along as I read the reading passage to the left of this passage. Then we'll discuss the answers to the right together. Scientists study the world and learn about how it works. As they study the world, the scientists use a process called the scientific method. They ask important questions and search for the answers. Sometimes they make amazing discoveries. There are times when a scientist is unable to answer his own question. If he has taken good notes, another scientist may come along later and use his notes to find the answer. Every year, there's new knowledge. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step process. You can use it to conduct an experiment. You may start by making observations about something that interests you. Based on your observations, you make a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a smart guess you make by using what you know. You guess what you think could happen. Now you're ready to begin your experiment. During your experiment, you should take notes. These notes are your experiment data. You constantly make observations during this time. You may discover things that make you revise your experiment. Eventually, you conclude your experiment. Next, you begin to look over your notes. You decide what you found out in your experiment. You make a final statement about whether or not your hypothesis was correct. Use reasons and evidence to support your statement. Using the scientific method can be challenging. However, it can also be rewarding. All the steps are organized in a process. When you provide observations and data as evidence to support your conclusion, your ideas are more likely to be accepted. So we're going to take a look at the passage and make sure we understand everything at this point about the scientific method. So if I were to ask you overall, what is the scientific method? Maybe in a kid-friendly way, we say it's a step-by-step -step process for how scientists study the world. Number two, when you find something that interests you, how do you make a hypothesis? Remember that hypothesis is what you think will happen and why. But in order to form that hypothesis, you start by making observations. Remember, we could have a qualitative observation or quantitative. Number three, why is it important to take good notes when you're conducting an experiment, which is a big word for saying to do the experiment? It's important because it's going to help you with your data or information and give you something to look back at and see if your results were consistent. Number four, what is that last step in the scientific method? You could say to make a final statement, or I would prefer a bigger word, conclusion. And number five, you will at some point name one thing you maybe want to investigate this year for a science project. Maybe you are interested in airplanes, so you want to see how far your paper airplane can go. It should be designed based on something that interests you. And that kind of sums up the scientific method and why scientists follow this step-by-step -step process and share their results with each other.